This is something a lot of growers may not want to admit to, but the threat of burning their plants with over application of nutrients. This Tobacco University video is going to cover just that. All right, let's get into the threat of nutrient burn to cannabis plants. So most growers tend to over fertilize their plants. Nutrient burn is typically a grower induced error when they do not properly calculate the nutrients needed by the plants or think they need a little bit more. Also growers typically think more fertilizer can fix a wide range of problems when it actually may cause more than it would solve. And this kind of uh, leaf uh, structure here, this kind of burning here is evidence that maybe they over added the nutrients to this small growing plant and caused it kind of to get this kind of crinkled or stunted look to it. Now you wanna avoid uh, nutrient toxicity. So follow manufacturer's recommendations. Know the pH values and concentrations of your nutrient solution. Favor on the low side and work to higher concentrations after you see how the plants react. So you go through an over add, it can be just the same negative effect as if you were to under add. It is a whole lot easier to add a little bit more than to try to take a little away. Now I want to be mindful to recognize deficiencies, and there's many of these charts that exist. Know what certain deficiencies look like will help you ensure you can correct problem, problems early on, and give you the confidence that you can identify something early so that you don't get into that chance of reaching those toxic or excessive levels in a plant. Tobacco University also has more uh, cannabis-specific videos on recognizing nutrient deficiencies. You also want to know your fertilizers. So many fertilizers have a blend of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, and PK. So do not make application for one nutrient without considering the other nutrients. Meaning if you calculate the amount of fertilizer to add for 120 parts per million of nitrogen, which if you're learning how to do that, search Tobacco University for that. Uh, do not forget about the phosphorus and potassium as this could lead to an over application of these nutrients if you're only focusing and calculating for nitrogen. Also, you wanna be sure you have specialty fertilizers on hand. It may be a good idea to have some fertilizers that are nutrient specific to ensure as a grower, you can dial in a fertilizer program if there's a deficiency noticed. This is recommended for at least nitrogen and calcium magnesium. You should have some specialty fertilizers on there uh, because this is typically something very quick you need to add uh, and something cannabis plants require. You also wanna know fertilizers compatibility. So we have some just some example charts here. Some fertilizers can be mixed while others have reduced solubility and others simply are incompatible. Test your mix before adding it to your plants and consult one of these charts ahead of time so you know you don't waste your time making an incompatible uh, mix. This just gives you some of the various uh, common fertilizers that might be added, what's, what's uh, compatible, what has reduced solubility, and what is simply incompatible there. So be mindful of this uh, before you go through mixing fertilizers so you don't do more harm than good to the plant. Because if you mix these two together and just go through and apply it, you could cause nutrient burn. If you over apply it, it could cause nutrient burn. So just ensure that you're giving the plants what they need, not anymore. Keep them at the optimum level and they'll be at the peak of efficiency.